Okay, in the last video we did the equation of the tangent line, first example, following our three steps. Take the derivative, plug in that x value to see what the slope of the tangent line is. Find b by plugging in your y, m, and your x, and then write the equation. So we're going to have the same three steps, but we're going to do it with a new function. Our first step is to take the derivative. If you want a tangent line, tangent means derivative. Instantaneous change also means derivative. So one formula for two names, tangent or instantaneous change. So we are going to be tangent to this function here, 1 over x. Well, first of all, if I want to take the derivative of that, which I do, I would want to rewrite this first. I don't want to use the quotient rule, even though it's a fraction, because there's not x's in both the top and the bottom. So I'm going to take one second and rewrite that original function. f of x is really just 1x to the negative 1. And you can put the 1 out front if you want to or not. Um, we don't typically write coefficients of 1, but it is 1x to the negative 1. It's negative because we're pulling it out of the denominator. That was one of our algebra principles. So our slope of the tangent line is going to be taking the derivative of this and plugging in the x value. So looking at this point, my x value is 2, and my y value is 1 half. So we have our x comma y. So we want to do f prime of 2. Take the derivative, plug in the x value you want to be tangent to. So let's take this derivative, f prime of x. I'm going to bring down the power and bring down that negative 1 and subtract 1 for the new power. Negative 1 minus 1 is going to bring me even further negative down to negative 2. So I can grab my calculator and plug right into this. I want to be tangent at the x value, which is 2, not the 1 half, that's the y value. And I can plug in negative 1 and then replace each x in parentheses. I can plug it in just like this, negative 1, parentheses 2, x to the negative 2, and that's totally fine. Um, you should get the same answer, or you could take a second and you could rewrite this and write it as negative 1 over x squared. Put the negative in the denominator where it belongs. If that helps you plug into your calculator or do it in your head, negative 1 over 2 squared is going to be negative 1 over 4. Whichever way you want to plug in. If you want to rewrite it as negative 1 over x squared, so you can do it in your head, or just use your calculator, I'm comfortable with whichever. Either way, you get a slope of negative 1 fourth. I would write this as a decimal if that was helpful. Um, I don't want to write it as a decimal right now because sometimes you can't rewrite fractions as decimals. Right? This negative 1 fourth is nice because it's negative 0.25, so it could be a decimal all day and it doesn't hurt anything. Um, but if you got negative 1 third, that's negative 0.3 repeating forever, it never terminates, you'd have to leave it as a fraction. So I'm going to show you as leaving it as a fraction because you don't always have the opportunity to rewrite it as a decimal. It doesn't always terminate. So we'll just use it as a fraction for now. So first step, take the derivative, plug in your x value. Use your calculator, it'll tell you that slope of the tangent line. Second step is to find b. So we're going to write out y equals mx plus b and solve for what b is. So we know y from our point. So I'm looking at the point here, and I have 2 comma 1 half. So 1 half is the y value. m is what we just found. Our slope of the tangent line was negative 1 fourth. And then that's getting multiplied with x. So we're going to plug in x in parentheses. The x value of the point is 2 plus b. So x and y come from the point 2 comma 1 half. And our m comes from the first step, which is why we find m and then we find b, not the other way around. So I'm going to grab my calculator and multiply these numbers out, just like we did above in the last video. We multiplied first and then we moved um, the number over. So I'm going to do negative 1 fourth and then a parentheses 2. So that's going to give me negative 1 half plus b. I want to get b by itself, so I'm going to add that 1 half over. So I get b equals 1 half plus 1 half is just 1. And my last step is not really a step, but we are asked for the equation of a tangent line, so our final answer should be the equation of a tangent line. So have y equals m, which is negative 1 fourth, x plus b. Negative 1 fourth x plus 1 for this one.